All right, everybody, this is Amin Mojara with the RIA Institute and Imagination Everywhere. And this is a new series um, uh, for those of you who are interested in web development in general. Uh, we're going to show you how to build um, websites and uh, dynamic websites using Visual Web Developer, which is the Visual Studio um, um, web development um, feature. Um, the, well, the web development feature in Visual Studio. Um, it's a free um, tool that you can get. Um, those of you who are used to Expression Web and want tutorials on that, I would suggest that you go to this website right here, um, Expression Web Tutorial, um, Expression-WebTutorial.com, and they have some excellent tutorials on Expression Web. But what we're going to be doing is doing Visual Studio. So those of you um, who don't have Visual Web Developer, what you want to do is you want to come here to the Microsoft website, uh, Microsoft.com and back uh, forward slash express and download the uh, web uh, uh, component of Visual Studio called Visual Web Developer. And it will give you the steps on how to download, uh, install, and run the application. The other tool that you're going to need is um, Firefox, which is this browser right here. And what you want to do is you want to go to uh, Mozilla.com, Mozilla.com, and download uh, Firefox. And we're going to be using the other browsers: uh, Opera, Chrome, Safari, and uh, um, Internet Explorer. But the reason why we need Firefox is we're going to be using Firebug um, to debug as our as our browser debugger um, here. So um, that is the reason why. And so if you once you install Firefox, make sure you um, install uh, Firebug, uh, which is the, which is an add-on to Firefox. And the way you install add-ons, if you don't know, um, I'm assuming that you don't have any knowledge of web development, is you go up to Tools after you've installed Firefox and go to add-ons and get add-ons um, and you know either type Firebug in here in this box here or go to the Mozilla uh, site and download it and install it on Firefox so um, those are the three tools which are all free that you need in order to participate in this series um, once you've downloaded in uh, Visual Web Developer um, Visual Studio opens like this. This is what you'll see. Um, actually, you can um, uh, you can uh, you know it, it. Actually, let me just uh, close it and restart it. Uh, when you restart it up, there's a start page that usually comes up, um, uh, but it, I've set it to not come up. Um, so uh, what we do is after you've downloaded and installed it, um, and uh, there are other tutorials on how to install Visual Studio on uh, Visual Web Developer. It shouldn't be that hard if um, I'm assuming that you have some computer literacy. Um, we're going to go and we're going to start with a website. We're going to open up a new website. And I'm going to tell you in future videos the difference between a project and a website in Visual Studio. But these videos are only going to be 10 minutes, so I want to get as much as I can. Um, and we're going to go to the install templates and we're going to open up what's called an uh, empty website and we're going to create that on our file system and all our website is is a bunch of folders uh, file stored in folders and we're going to create that on our file system and I'm going to call our first website hello world And it asked me if you, there's no folder on the file system called Hello, Hello World. So, uh, yes. And you can create this on any part of your file system, your desktop, your C drive, whatever, your My Documents, wherever you feel comfortable. Because all it does is just, what it does, it just creates a, what's called a solution file. Um, if we go into uh, our, our Windows, into our uh, a solution, uh, Windows Explorer, you see the Hello World, and all it is is a blank folder. And when you save your um, your files in Visual Studio, they it creates what it creates a file called uh, a solution file, and all this does is just organizes all the files 
that you have and all you have to do is click on this in order to open it back up in Visual Studio so what we want to do is we want to add our first page and there's two ways that you can add your first page you can go to file add new item or you can go over here to, to what's called the solution explorer and you can add a page by right clicking add new item and a dialog box is going to pop up and as you can see we have a bevy of templates that we can use we're going to start with an HTML page and we're going to name that HTML page hello world never put try not to put any spaces in and try to name your files with camel humps first word uh, first letter capitalized second uh, second word the first letter capitalizes how we usually do it that's a standard that we usually use um, and then just click add and an HTML file opens and in Visual Studio just like in Expression Web um, you have three viewing options you have the if you go down here to the to to the uh, control bar you have the design view the split view and the source view right now we're in the, the, the source view and this is the main view that we're going to be working in but for your for those designers if you want design view where you can drag and drop controls like uh, if you wanted to drag and drop a input button you can do that um, we're not going to be doing that we're going to be focusing on code because um, that's what I believe that we should should focus on um, if you're interested in software development and web application development so the other thing is, is you want to name your page and uh, you want to go ahead and name uh, HTML works based on tags the opening tag and the closing tag and this is the title tag and these are between the head tags and the head tags on your web page is where all your hidden content where nobody else when they view your web page can see except for in the title tag and I'll show you where that is in the browser so what we want to do is we want to go um, hello world and then down here in the body this is where you put all the stuff on your page that you want people to see and so we can just type a little text and say hello world and then save it and then we can view our web page here um, by right clicking on the hello world page right clicking and before you view it in the browser um, as you can see right here before you view it in the browser what you want to do is you want to go to browse with and add Firefox as your default browser and you do that by clicking on add go to the ellipsis make sure you go to the program files in your C folder portion of your um, computer and go down to the Mozilla folder and then click on the Mozilla folder and click on the Firefox icon and after you click on that and, cl and click open you know and then just click OK and, and make sure you set it as your default uh, browser so we go ahead right click and then we view in browser and we have voila hello world so that's our first website and so uh, we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things um, here in Visual Studio there's just so many things that we have to discuss and I look forward to the next video which we'll get more in depth in um, so thank you and look forward to you in the next video